In this video, we will show how a custom file named style-smart-it.css can be used to rebrand and customize the UI for SmartIT on the universal client. When you load SmartIT in a browser, you can see two requests for the CSS file when using the network tracing in the browser's developer's tools. If we filter on the file name, there should be two requests captured. The first call always results in a HTTP 302 redirect to the location highlighted on the screen. A second call then goes out to this new location and on an out-of-the-box system, that call would result in a HTTP 404 error as a custom rebranding CSS file would not be present. If we now add the style-smart-it.css file in the right location on the SmartIT servers and check the network logs again, we can see the same 302 redirect for the first request, but this time the second request will have a 200 response as the custom CSS file now exists. And when you check the response tab, we can see the contents of the custom CSS file. In this example, the file only contained a comment. The rebranding SmartIT on the universal client section in the SmartIT documentation now provides the information where this file should be placed under the Tomcat home folder. And when we check this file on that location on my SmartIT server, it indeed shows the same content as was seen in the response in a network trace. The rebranding documentation now provides detailed code examples as well as information on names and sizes for graphics that can be used to customize the look and feel of the application. For example, this is what the SmartIT UI looks like for the out-of-the-box application. And by using some of the CSS code examples in the documentation, we could make changes like hiding the company logo, changing the product name and navigation bar colors to make the UI look like this. Next to these documented code changes to rebrand the application, the style-smart-it.css file can also be used to customize other elements of the UI to hide fields, buttons, or panels, thereby adjusting the functionality available to the user. Several of the more popular changes are bundled in Knowledge Article 383036, and many of these changes are the outcome of questions posted on the BMC developers community. A note to add at this point as well is that these changes should be considered customizations and that the implementation and validation would therefore be up to the customer. Now let's have a quick look at the effect of some of the code changes listed in the article on the SmartIT application. The first one provides code to hide the KPI graphs in the service delivery section of the SmartIT dashboard. Let's copy the example code to hide the incident KPI. If you look at the dashboard, this would be the area we expect to get hidden by this change. We go to the SmartIT server and open the style-smart-it.css file, paste the copied content and save the file. If you now go back to SmartIT and reload the page, we can indeed see that the incident section is no longer visible in the dashboard. And when checking the response again of the request that loaded the customized CSS file, we can indeed see the new updated contents. Next to updating the CSS file, we can also use the browser developer tools to preview some of the changes the CSS code would introduce. If I copy the CSS file name and move to the style editor tab in Firefox, I can see the contents of our custom file. The tool now allows us to add or update the code here and see the changes reflected in the browser. So say I copy the code from the knowledge article to hide the work order KPI details. When I then paste it in this editor, I can see the work order section disappearing. Let's also test a few examples that are described in the knowledge article around change request. One listed CSS option is to hide unused change types. So say I want to hide the no impact type that is the fifth in this list of change types. I go back to the article copy the code provided and when pasting it in the editor, the no impact type is no longer available. Another listed customization is to remove the from scratch option from the create change request view. Again, we copy the CSS code provided in the article and paste it in the editor. And we can see that only the use a template option remains. If we undo that change again, we can look at one final change listed in the article to hide certain document types from the document section in change requests. 
So I start creating a normal change request. And the document section will list 12 document types. Say I want to hide the requirements document type. So I find the relevant code in the article, copy the code provided, and when I paste it in the editor, I can see that document type being removed from the list. These changes added to the browser style editor are of course only for testing and not permanent. Any final changes would have to be copied into the style-smart-it.css file on all Smart IT servers in the environment. Thank you for watching this video and we hope that you found it helpful. Please visit the BMC and Discovery channel on YouTube to watch other related videos and hit the subscribe button to never miss an update.